to all of you. Uh, I join my colleagues in congratulating OECD for this new tool, the STR Index. This analytical tool represents a great opportunity to continue discovering areas where there is still place to improve the way we exchange goods and services. I agree with Mike Fromm and, uh, in the fact that uh, the interrelationship between services and goods in the manufacturing sector is essential. 30% of manufacturing now depends on, on, on services. And therefore, for the future of manufacturing, which is a very important sector in Mexico, we really appreciate this new tool. I'm sure that the insights that the index provides will be helpful to assess and uh, direct public policies for creating a less restrictive environment in, in which trade and services definitely will flourish. The overall result, result of STRI for Mexico broadly, broadly reinforces the analysis we have done domestically to undertake far-reaching structural reforms, which include sectors as important as telecommunications, broadcasting, financial, and energy services. Just to give you an example of one of those reforms in telecommunications, basically the reform is aimed to encourage competition in the marketplace. It is essential to have more market players, foreign and domestic, and more services at competitive prices. The reform includes 100% liberalization for foreign investment in telecommunications. It will also ensure universal coverage, enhancing access to faster and re reliable services, as well as a greater uh, diversity of content. It will also increase fixed, mobile, and wireless penetration of broadband access. As you can see, enhancing competition in services activities is high in the Mexican economic agenda. Our main objective has been driven by the conviction that enhancing competition in services will allow Mexico's economy to become more productive and competitive. In this regard, the new index is a comprehensive atlas of the service trade restrictions at the national level and by activity. The information allows each country to benchmark its services activities in both in absolute terms and also with relation to global best practices one will quickly see where the outlier restrictions are and where potential bottlenecks exist. It is clear for me, yeah, in Mexico, we still have a lot to do, but I believe that in a short period of time, we have covered a very substantial ground that was long overdue. I reiterate my congratulations to OECD for this groundbreaking project and encourage all countries involved to keep working in updating and improving this tool. This is a living instrument that we have to procure and strengthen. Thank you.